Good evening, everyone. The Sportsman Triathlon and Ironman Challenge is shifting from Knob and Way all the way to Western Marquette County this weekend. For the past few years, the Triathlon and Ironman Challenge has been held at the Hiawatha Club in Knob and Way. But due to dwindling numbers, the owners at Straight Line Archery in Ishpeming decided to try and revive it. Luckily enough, the Nagani Rod and Gun Club and the Wawano and Golf Club were all able to offer up their services. And unlike traditional Ironman challenges that feature biking, running, and swimming, this particular event will have a UP flavor with 3D archery, trap shooting, and golf. So far, 18 teams have signed up, and while the triathlon will be different, it's the Ironman that will really challenge its participants. They're going to have a little bit harder challenge to get through it. They're going to do longer distances at the archery. They're going to shoot two rounds of trap. One's going to be a wobble trap. And they're going to play 18 holes of golf instead of the traditional nine. The event will further benefit organizations like Camp Cuervo in Kentucky and UPAWS of Marquette County. So here's a look at the official schedule this weekend. The triathlon and Ironman challenges begin this Saturday at around 9, 9.30 a.m. at the Nagani Rod and Gun Club for 3D archery and trap shooting and will continue Sunday morning at around 8 a.m. at the Wawanawan Golf Club for the final rounds of golf. The weather was not cooperating today, so opening day, the Greg Johnson Memorial Baseball Tournament was completely rained out. As a result, the nine teams from the UP and Northern Wisconsin will now play in a two-day round-robin tournament in Gladstone and Escanaba. Most teams will play three games and some will play four, and a winner will be determined late Sunday afternoon. For a look at the most updated schedule, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. And highlights, visit our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. And a big day tomorrow for basketball fans. The UP All-Star Classic Games in St. Ignace will be taking on the best boys and the best girls in the UP are playing a good game of uh, basketball. So we'll have highlights on that on our late news tomorrow. Is Mike Ludlam going to St. Ignace? He is. He's there right now enjoying the sights and sound of St. Ignace. And he's eager and ready to shoot. He's been on the road a lot lately. He was in Ironwood, uh, was it, for the All-Star Game earlier yeah. this week? And now the other end of the UP. Yeah, so. he was in East Lansing the week before for some softball and baseball. So busy, busy. All right. All right, thanks, Lily. Coming up next, Marquette's historic past comes to life with a bus tour. We'll find out how you can climb aboard next.